Hi, Deirdre McNamara here from Letterkenny IT and today we're going to take a look at creating income statements and statements of financial position from a trial balance. So um, just to make it a little bit easier, I thought I'd color code it just because some people work very well with color. So I thought I'd col color code uh, the income statement. So we'll take a look at what it is we're trying to do and then we'll go back and see how we did it. So the income statement always begins with sales. OK, so you have sales and then you take away the cost of the goods that were used in those sales. And the way you work out the cost of goods uh, that are used in the sales is you look at your opening stock, you add on any purchases you made, and then you take away your closing stock. OK, so when you opening stock plus purchases, less closing stock gives you 388116. OK, so the 750123 minus 388116 gives you 362007. OK, so you add these two, take that away, take all of this away from your sales. Then on the other side of your income statement, you have expenses. So these are all the bills that come into the business, the, the monthly bills, those sort of things. OK, so you've got things like wages, uh, any other expenses, repairs, uh, advertising. But if you've paid, uh, if you have, if you haven't actually paid the bill yet, but you need to pay the bill for this period, then you need to add that in. Um, you any bank or interest charges, you've got the phone and internet, stationery, heat and light, insurance, uh, and if you paid in advance, then take off anything that you've paid for the next period. Okay, so you add up all of those, okay, and you take it away from your gross profit. So this is your gross profit, and your bro gross profit minus expenses gives you your net profit. So the 362007 minus 89390 give you 272617. Okay. So looking over then at the statement of financial position, okay, you've got on uh, the top half, the new layout of the statement of financial position uh, is uh, your non-current assets. These are things that you own that have value uh, that you're going to hold on to uh, for more than one year. OK, so you've got things like the building, the premises, any fixtures, you know, the kitchen, any things like that that you're going to hold on to for a long period of time. Motor vehicles. OK, and you add all of those up and you get your total here. OK, current assets. These are things um, that actually are a value to the business, um, but usually are used up within a one year period. So you've got things like stock. OK, uh, you've got uh, and you'll see that that figure here is the same as this figure here. OK, uh, you've got debtors. OK, people that owe you money uh, prepaid anything that you've prepaid. OK, um, that's a value to you. You've already paid the bill, which is great. OK, and any cash uh, that you might have. OK, or any bank, positive bank balance that you might have. So you add up all of those and you get this total here. Put your non-current assets, which are things that are worth a value that you're going to hold on to for more than a year, plus your current assets, which are things that generally get used up within the year. Add the two of those and you get your total over here. OK, then the capital side of things, the opening balance, which is the amount uh, that comes from the previous uh, statement of financial position, you add on any profit. Now, where do we get the profit? The profit came from here. The net profit is down here. Add on your net profit and you'll see those two figures are the same. Less any drawings. That's any money that the owner uh, or the investors took out of the business. OK, so the opening balance plus any uh, profit or take away any loss, less any drawings. And when you put all of that together, you end up with 357596. OK, so non-current uh, liabilities. These are things that you owe um, and that non-current means that it's likely you're going to owe them for more than a year. OK, so a loan, maybe a five year loan, etc. Uh, you include that. Current liabilities are things that normally get sorted out um, within the year. OK, so the bank balance, unfortunately, the bank balance is in the red. OK, there uh, it's a minus figure. So it comes in here. Uh, accruals, advertising. We have a bill for advertising, but we haven't paid it yet. So that's an accrual. OK, so it's included in here and creditors. These are people that we owe money to. 
Okay, you add up all of those and you get a total here. You add that to the uh, non-current liabilities and also the capital. And you'll notice then that the total up here uh, in the assets will match uh, the uh, capital and liabilities. Okay, now, now we need to take a look at where all these figures came from. Okay, so let's take a look. We'll start off by looking at the sales figure here and we take a look at uh, the trade or the trial balance. So I'm going to come up here. Okay, so you've got a trial balance here. I might just reduce the zoom a little bit to make it a bit easier. Okay, so the sales figure came from here. You've got your opening stock. Okay, you've got your purchases. And down the bottom here, it tells you that your closing stock uh, is 47,650. So they're the figures that you include in here, in the top half of your income statement. Looking for the expenses then. Okay, again, going down through it are wages and salaries. That's an expense. Uh, it's a thing that you normally pay on a monthly or weekly basis. Uh, any other expenses, repairs, uh, advertising, um, what else have we got? Uh, bank interest and charges. Uh, we've got stationery that was purchased, uh, heat and light, uh, and then the insurance. Um, yeah, in addition, uh, we've got advertising here that um, uh, needs, it needs to be paid but hasn't been paid yet, so it needs to be accrued. OK, so we need to include that uh, in our expenses. Uh, now, in the insurance side of things, we've actually paid in advance. So we've paid uh, 750. That's actually for next year. So we don't include it as an expense for this year. So we make, make sure that we get rid of that. OK, so let's take a look at how that works down here. OK, so in the advertising, we still haven't paid. We owe 1070 in expenses. We haven't paid that yet. It's a charge on this year, so we need to add it in. In the insurance side of things, we've paid a little bit for next year, so we take off next year's um, uh, prepayment. OK, so that's the expenses side of things. Looking at the non-current assets, so non-current means things that you will hold for more than uh, that are a value to your business that you'll hold for more than one year. We've got our premises, fixtures and motor vehicles and they're listed here. We just took them down directly. OK, current assets, things that normally get used up uh, 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 within the year. Uh, you've got your start, stock, your debtors. Um, so again, people who owe you money. Prepaid insurance. We talked about that already. It's the same figure that's down here. It comes up here. So we've paid in advance. It's great news that we've already paid it. So that's an asset to the business. And we've got cash in the business. Often, if you have a positive bank balance, you'll also have the positive bank balance in down here. Unfortunately for Mary Kelly, her bank balance is, is in the negative or in the red. Um, so it appears uh, down here. OK, on the capital side of things, we have our capital here um, and we also have the drawings. And in addition to that, we have the net profit that comes from here. OK, so you've got your opening cal capital balance. You've got your profit um, you add your profit here. You would subtract it if it was a loss uh, and then you take away your drawings. OK, non-current liabilities. So non-current means things that will last for more than a year. So we've got a loan which is listed up now. Where is the loan gone? Um, the loan here, we've got the loan. OK, uh, our bank balance, which is in. Uh, so that's the non-current. And then looking at uh, the current liabilities, things that are normally sorted out within the year. OK, we've got bank, which unfortunately was in the red. We spoke about that already. We've got our accruals um, and advertising. So we owe the advertising bill for this year, but we haven't paid it yet. OK, so we've got our 1070 and creditors. They're people that we owe money to that we haven't paid yet. OK, uh, and that's where all the figures came from. OK, that's the end of this video.